Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're in Irvine, California at this beautiful scenic park for the first drive of this vehicle here. This is it. This is the all new 2022 Kia EV6. Our particular one is the GT line. But before we get into this all wheel drive, all wheel fun, versatile electric vehicle, let's talk about what's going on here. Kia. It seems like they just know how to knock it out of the park every single time. Think about the home runs, Telluride, Seltos, Stinger, K5. The list keeps going on and on and on, but you know what? We're not here to talk about a redesign. We're here to talk about an all new vehicle that is electrified, the Kia EV6. Comes in different trims, rear wheel drive setup, is going to be your entry gateway, but you could, of course, option dual motors and get that all wheel drive performance. So much so that you could take it all the way to the top with the full performance all out version known as the EV6 GT. Now, our GT line is going to be that great kind of sweet spot for some performance for that all wheel drive grip because we have the dual electric motors but we're also gonna be looking at certain features when we're talking price point. And that's the big question mark, is when you're looking at a Tesla, when you're looking at a Bolt, when you're looking at the upcoming Chevrolet Equinox that's gonna be a version of it electrified, what about price point? And where do you take that price point and value your style, when you look at the style of this vehicle, and also, of course, that range and all the other technology. So let's go ahead, let's dive in with this first drive of the EV6 GT line and see, is it worth that price point of what you're gonna be paying or should you be going with one of the other brands? Especially when we're looking at, of course, the industry leader in electrification, Tesla. So let's go ahead, let's dive into our steel gray EV6 GT line and find out. Right off the bat, when we're talking about price, one of those things that's gonna be high on people's list is lighting. When you look at the front of the business, you're gonna get full LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, and turn signals. The way that they did the headlight housing shows sophistication, sport, and style. And like I was saying, when we're looking at technology, when it comes to lighting, they really knocked it out of the park. Now, when it comes to airflow, everything is gonna nicely kind of drop down and then go down the rest of the side of the vehicle. You have some gloss black, but then we have this new color called steel gray. It's a nice matte satin finish that has metallic flake to it. Really sparkles nicely in the California sun. As we come across the front, one of those other pieces of technology that's gonna go towards the price point when people are looking for that what is it gonna cost me at the end of the day? Forward-facing camera. You do get it on the GT line. I like the way it's clean right in the center there. And then of course you're gonna get that simulated grill to help it look like a Kia vehicle. Kia vehicles are all about tiger nose. This definitely showcases that tiger nose and shows some new elements of design where from the front, this looks like a sports car, like an EV high-performance sports car, but really, they did a perfect blending of both worlds. And when you get up onto the hood, you can see that steel gray finish. We got the updated Kia badge. Everything is gonna be just clean for aero. Look at how the air, pretend my hands are air. Just coast right on down. Coming around the bend, wheels and tires are always gonna be a big thing. And on this GT line, you are going big. You're getting 20 inch wheels. Now, the one thing I'm not in love with especially being a GT line, is the thickness of the sidewall. This is a 45 series sidewall. I wish that they would have knocked it down to a 35 series sidewall. It would have helped with the overall appearance of the side of the vehicle. But with that 45 series sidewall, you are gonna get a nice softer ride. 255 on the width. I'm digging the style of the wheel. You got multi-level uh, regen braking to help generate that uh, battery power. And what's great is this is sitting on that new global architecture for their BEV program. Remember, BEV stands for Battery Electric Vehicle. But I think the wheels with the machined aluminum, the gloss black, and the updated Kia badge, and the way they cover all the lug nuts keeps it super clean for that aerodynamic flow. No flat black, everything is painted 
on this vehicle. We got the gloss black mirror caps. Now let me show you something really, really cool when it comes to what's going on with the style. Now with this setup, you got your door handles built in very nice and cleanly. And what that's going to do is when I hit the lock button, door handles close flush. And then of course you got your power mirrors that are going to tuck in. We got 360 degree camera technology. This is all stuff that when I mention the price point, when we get to the interior, think about all these things that you're getting. You hit the unlock button, swings out nicely, and then you just open up your door. We lock it up and there you go. Now on the bottom, you are going to get some gloss black, but it does balance out nicely with the black at the front end of the business. And the way that it kind of curves up shows that motion, even though we're just sitting here in this parking lot. Now you do get an oversized sunroof, not a panoramic sunroof, oversized sunroof. Love that sexy roof line. Even the way they give you actual rear quarter window glass and that gloss black kind of just, it's so seamless how everything just comes together. Floating roof design with the blacked out A pillar, blacked out on the rear. And this is one of my favorite parts right here. I could rub this rear end all day long after washing her, looking really good. Low roof spoiler, clean on the glass, no wiper. Everything is just gonna aerodynamically flow off, kick up and give us that downforce, give us that aerodynamic efficiency. Look at the taillights. Every little attention of detail going into the black chrome trim, really clean. You got your GT line badge right there and then EV6 badging to match our updated Kia badge. And then as we work our way down, you're gonna have full reverse LED lights with the silver, with the gloss black, really gives it. I'm telling you from this level, like I said, just like the front, it looks like a high performance vehicle. But remember, you hit the button, what do we got? We're gonna have that ability to pop the rear hatch, but you know what? We're not ready for the hatch. We're ready to talk about what's going on underneath the hood of this EV6 GT line. All right, guys, we got the hood open. You do have hydraulic hood struts. Believe it or not, the wheelbase, the space in between the front wheels and the rear wheels is the same as the midsize three-row SUV known as the Telluride, but guess what? We have the hood open because you can see some of the inner bits and there is a large plastic cover, but what are we talking about that's underneath the plastic and all the sheet metal of this vehicle? You're looking at a dual motor. The GT line has a dual motor setup, 320 horsepower, 446 pound-feet of torque. That means we got all-wheel drive. It utilizes a 77.4 kilowatt per hour battery, direct drive transmission, and it is sitting on the world's first 800 volt architecture, that ultra fast DC charging capability. Power though, going back to power with the dual motor set up 320 horsepower, you're looking at zero to 64.5 seconds. Top speed is restricted to 115 miles per hour. The car weighs 4,500 pounds, EPA rated on a single charge, 274 miles. The great news is, is that charging, the way that this charges. So what Kia is estimating is that in less than five minutes on a DC fast charger, you could do 70 miles worth of charging in five minutes or charge 10% from 10% battery life all the way up to 80% battery life in 18 minutes. Now the other big piece of this puzzle is they actually made this functional. Unlike the Volkswagen ID4 and some of the other competitors, check it out. You got storage underneath. This is where you could put those little gifts that you have for your significant other. You don't want her to ever see or him to see until that big surprise day. Let your EV6 GT line hold on to it for you. Maybe you got the engagement ring. You could be like, open it and then propose right here. Will you marry me? that kind of fun stuff. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the interior and see what the EV6 brings to the electrification table. All right, guys, we're inside this 2022 Kia EV6 GT line. 
It's about that time. You want to know about price. Is it worth the price for this EV? You know the competition. You know what they're asking, especially when you look at those Tesla Model 3s and the Volkswagen ID.4s and all the other competitors in this segment. How much is this GT line? Well, no official pricing, but estimates you're looking at around $49,000 for this GT line. Now, remember, there is the top trim, the GT trim. That's expected to be around $55,000, $56,000 with 576 horsepower. But we're in the GT line, $49,000 estimate. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Contemporary style, clean, unobstructed. The only zonk like before is the gloss black, especially around the switch gear. Love the two-tone style. Door pocket, though, is large enough. I would say for about two bundles of asparagus. You know, we're in California. They grow a lot of asparagus. Two bundles of asparagus and some kombucha to wash it down. And you have the Meridian surround sound system in here to give you them premium tunes and a very tasteful speaker grill cover. Now, when we go from the door panel to the dash, they've done something different. Look at how they style the actual dash. I wish they would have done more of this on the door panel. A lot of times, door panels are great, but the dash is too bland. They didn't go bland on the dash. Really love the style. Sunk the AC vents in nice, AC vents in nicely. You have all this ambient lighting. All this diagonal stuff is going to be ambient lighting, light up nice and crisp. And then speaking about crisp, like a lace potato chip, you got a 10.25 inch infotainment system screen. Obviously, navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. We go into all the different features. I could sit here and go through all of them. If you want to see this more in depth, watch the first review, which I will leave the link to that review at the end of this one. I think the biggest thing I want to show you is when you go in a vehicle, you got your Kia DriveWise safety features and then that active sound. And one of the cool things with the active sound, you go into advanced settings, custom, and you literally can select from a plethora of different sounds, raise it, lower it, make it fast, make it slow, all of that that you can't do in just any EV. You could do it in this EV6. Cameras, I'll hit the camera button. Look at that, look how clear it is. Width trajectory, 360, full, look at that. Wow. You can see all the way around you, see if anybody's peeping or creeping. Working your way down, we got an anti-glare finish on the AC controls. Nice crisp movement of the knobs. Dual climate, of course. Down below, USB-C, USB-A. We got the flat bottom floor, which really frees up lots of space down here. And they went with a 12 volt and went with another USB-C. So Kia takes care of you connectivity. You got a nice little storage area down here. Easily put eight California oranges. Everybody thinks all the oranges come from Florida. No, California produces a lot of oranges, especially if you want that ultimate squeeze and get it filled with all the juice. Speaking of squeeze, look at how they did a great job just squeezing this wonderful floating center console in here. Nice aluminum finish. I wish they would have used that more. The white trim is looking great. Ventilated seats, heated seats, and heated steering wheel. Power on button. You see this? This is all ambient lighting all the way down to give you a nice feel at night. We got our rotary knob for the direct drive transmission. Wireless charging. Two cup holders, you got your great Kia key fob, remote start, and you have that park assist feature to move the vehicle in and out of tight spots. Nice silver finish. You see how they did the design on the armrest? Should have done this on the door panel. Open it up, what could we put in here? You could easily put, I would say, four avocados. We're gonna make some guacamole. I got some chips. We're doing it California style, and then we're gonna go surfing and puke it all up. Speaking of surfing, you're going to surf down the road with these beautiful seats. Love the finish. The stitching just pops very nicely. The two-tone with this microfiber suede material, the stitching, electric assist for the passenger and the driver. And then, of course, like I pointed out, you got that oversized sunroof, one-touch operation. I'm six feet tall, and I could grow a couple inches like the Jolly Green Giant and still fit very nicely in here. But why don't you come over to the business end? I want to show you behind the steering wheel in this EV6 GT line. All right, guys, GT line. You know, we're talking about price point. Is it worth the price? What are we getting? You're getting a little bit of silver aluminum trim. It would have been nice to have some ambient lighting 
in the trim. I like the way they did the aluminum brake pedal and throttle. Nice large depth pedal, just would have, I guess they ran out of aluminum that day at the Kia factory. Would have been nice to have that, so I am gonna zonk no aluminum depth pedal. But you do got your full electric assist for the seat controls. And then the steering wheel, leather, flat bottom. You got your drive mode selector button. We have our paddles on the back of the wheel to go up and down the regen braking levels. And then if you're talking about price, look at the technology. You get another 10.25 inch screen, full digital display, all the readouts really, really clean. You could go into your different modes. Our favorite, of course, on Radies Rides is sport mode. But if you wanna hug an avocado and get guacamole on you, you could do that in your EV6 because now we're in eco mode. Plus we got the technology with the cameras. I know cars that cost three times as much as this EV6 and you still, get, you still don't get that, but you get that in this EV6 GT line. On top of that, we do have a head up display with all the important information, but why don't we get in that back seat and see how much room we have for your passengers as we're driving down the road in this first drive of the EV6. All right guys, backseat time, and this is where really your backseat passengers are big, huge winners because you can see the nice flat bottom floor, no big you know, hump for a drive shaft or anything like that. I'm still six feet tall, I haven't shrunk yet, and I still got plenty of room. Backs of the seats are plastic, but I think that's gonna be nice to keep it clean, especially if you have dirty kids. Large pockets, we could easily put a couple of these awesome quesadillas that we have for lunch. We stopped at this Mexican place, had some quesadillas. I wanted to put some extra ones in there. Lori said no. She's like, you had enough for today. I'm like, all right, whatever. But we do have our AC vents to keep us cool after using all that hot sauce on our quesadillas. Yes, I go a little crazy with the ghost pepper hot sauce. I don't know why I love to punish myself. Backs of the seats and the center console, the good news is you don't have to worry about punishing yourself without you know, having any connectivity down here because the connectivity is right in the backs of the seats. Very smart. Kia was the first to do that on what vehicle? Yes, you in the back. Take the Twinkie out of your mouth. I can't hear you. Yes, on the Kia Telluride. So now we have it on the EV6 GT line. Got the great seats. I got AC where it's going to blow where I want it. Not on my ankles. Pull this down. I don't know what's going on here. This is as hard as an old battery an old Delco battery, but we get two cup holders. And if you don't want cup holders and you want a Twinkie tray, ba-bam, put your Twinkies in there. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in that cargo area because I'm dying to do the first drive in this EV6 GT line. All right, guys, time to open up that lift back to really showcase the amount of space. If you want to see all the details, remember, like I said, we've already done a full in-depth of the interior and everything else. I will leave that review of that EV6 GT line at the end of this one, but we're gonna keep this one a little quicker. With it open, you'll notice that you get 27.7 cubic feet of space, even with the rear seats up and having that dual motor setup. Fold the seats down, you're looking at well over 50 cubic feet of space. Another nice thing is when it comes to charging. So where's your charging door? You're actually gonna open this up over here. That's where you're gonna plug in your charger. And then the nice thing is when you're done charging, you hit the button, it closes it up, we close that, but it's that moment that you've been waiting for. If you're ready, I'm ready. We have an all-wheel drive GT line. Let's go on throttle. All right, guys, we're inside this first drive of the 2022 EV6 GT line. Right away, we need to get it on throttle. On throttle, here we go. <laughs> You'll notice that right now I have it in cyber sound mode setting. You go through the custom settings. I'm on a volume of 12. That could go up to 20. But it's kind of cool to have the unique driving experience, whether you want it just dead quiet, silent, or you want a little bit of sound. In sport mode, the dash, like I showed you, changes colors with the red and really gives you great readouts. I think that's one of my favorite things about this EV6 is that it easily lets me see what my speed is, what my charge is, when I get off throttle and the regen braking kicks in and that charging happens. So it's nice to just be able to read all of that at a very quick glance. Going down the road, you got the head up display, super clear, super massive. I got my ventilated seats on. And of course, visibility, even at that sexy rear sloping glass, visibility is really, really 
super clean. Side mirror is a good size. And it's just super smooth in here. Nice and quiet. They did a great job on sound deadening. Uh, the thickness of the side glass really allows you to just be in a very special place because this EV6, especially the GT line, is definitely a very special electric vehicle. Steering feels good. You can hear the blind spot monitoring beeping uh, to let you know if somebody's nearby. But really, really smooth. Let me show you how the regen braking. So right now I got a level two. That's a level three. That's max level four. Really slows you down nicely. It allows you the batteries to, to take that recharge. But even driving it here in Irvine, California, um, very, very easy to navigate through the busy traffic filled streets. Seats are comfy, super supportive, which actually surprised me. I didn't think they were gonna be as comfy as they are. And just everything is so smartly laid out. All of your connectivity, the wireless charging. And I, like I said, and I'll say it again, I like having an actual gauge cluster instrumentation. That's the one thing I'm not a fan of is when everything is all thrown in together in one shot. But I just want to go on throttle again. We're going to slow down a little bit here. On oh, throttle, look at that. <laughs> I tell you, you get a good amount of torque at this price point, And if you want more or need more, you can get it by going with the GT. I cannot wait for Kia to have one of those for us to be able to drive because that's gonna be phenomenal, but let's go on throttle. All wheel drive, here we go, on throttle. Really, really great, look at this. And then you get off throttle and you let the regen brake and do your thing and coast down a little bit and it's just a really nice setup. All right, guys, we found this little bit of a twisty road. You know, the one of the biggest benefits of an electric vehicle is having that battery nice and low in the chassis and that's really going to lower your center of gravity and i'm telling you for a crossover style electric vehicle this really does a great job of being balanced at all four corners all right guys really nice driving around irvine california a little bit different scenery than at home back in florida Really nice elevation, allows you to work the throttle with the regen braking to help assist everything. And just the, the, the sheer beauty. Brakes feel good, coming to a stop. And then rolling out, super smooth. All right guys, I wanted to change the camera angle, let you feel like you're sitting in the captain's chair here. You can see how great it is to see the screens, easy to get to the infotainment, but we're gonna go on throttle Red means we're in sport mode, and if you're ready, I'm ready. We're in drive, here we go. On throttle, yeah! Really, really nice torque delivery. Obviously, you're not waiting for any revs or anything like that, and it really just puts the power to the ground so effectively because of the all-wheel drive system. Suspension has some great balance of being sporty, but not beating you up. And then like I told you earlier and showed you earlier, you could see the, the camera views that you get from using your turn single. That type of technology is really nice to have and allows you to see through any kind of blind spot. Hi guys, pulling away from the light. Nice throttle sensitivity. Like I was saying, steering feels good. And just going down the road, just very compliant. Very confidence inspiring. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into normal. There's eco. You could actually feel the difference. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put in normal. So there we are in normal. And if you hold down the drive mode, there's actually a snow mode, which I don't think we're gonna have to worry about today in California, but you do have a snow mode as well. It's telling me, my blind spot monitoring is telling me that there's uh, somebody there. You'll see it light up bright red. Like right there, it says that somebody is in your blind spot. Nice to have that. You got your speed on the left, how much power we're using. And then when I get out of throttle, then the, 
the charge lights up because it's that regen braking. But I think they did a brilliant job, especially with the technology. You can see all the different charging stations here in the Irvine area. But boy, oh boy, did they really bring their A game like they have for their other vehicles in their full lineup over at Kia. But hopefully this has been a great review, that first drive to really allow you to experience the true EV potential that Kia is bringing with this EV6, especially the GT line. We're gonna get back to where it all started and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right guys, it's been another great day with this all new Kia EV6 GT line. Definitely have to give a huge shout out to the whole Kia team for allowing Ready's Rides access to this press fleet vehicle for this special media event. Let me know what you think. Has Kia done enough to make this EV6 GT line worth the price, especially looking at the competition? Put it in the comment section. I know they're gonna be looking. I'm definitely gonna be looking. But until we meet again in another place and another time, if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you and the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rides merch. Got to give it up to the queen of the camera. She's wearing her crown, wearing it proud. Show Lori some love in that comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.